never do this in your RV. We'll be talking about that right now. Hey there, Dr. Dave, the RV Dummy, back with you. I really appreciate you. If you have a second, please give me a like before we get started on the video. It takes, it'll take you a second, and it really does help the channel out quite a bit. I try to give everything I can to the RV community to make our lives just better. And the thing that I don't want you to be doing in your RV is, you ready for this one? Feeling upset, feeling sad, feeling bad for yourself, feeling sorry for yourself. And let me back up and explain exactly what I'm talking about. Look, I'm recording this in the wintertime, around the holidays. Um, things can be tough around the holidays. Things We can have struggles. We can have financial things going on. Maybe we had a tough year, maybe a breakup, maybe something bad with work, maybe, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a health problem, a struggle. As long as we're human, we're going to be having problems. And it doesn't really matter what time of the year I'm recording this. This could be just as relevant in the summer or in the fall or in the spring or around Easter. It doesn't really matter when I'm recording it. But it just so happens around holiday time, things can be really tough. And I've had some real tough times in my life. But I want to share something with you. We, as an RV community, as an RV owner, or maybe even a future RV owner, if you don't have one yet, I really believe we have an advantage over most people out there in this country. And the advantage is when we're feeling down, when we're having a tough day, when we're having a sad day, whatever it might be, we can get into our RV and we can drive maybe around the corner to a, to a private campground or camp out at a Walmart parking lot or drive across the country to an ocean, to the desert, to the Grand Canyon, to the mountains, to a national park. We can do anything we want. We can stay for a day, a night, a week, a year. It's all up to what your schedule is, uh, is able to give you, but it doesn't really matter. Because if things are tough, even for a day, and I know I can do this, if I go out and just sit in my RV and maybe turn on some music and look around and look at this beautiful thing that I've got, that I bought, that I invested in, maybe you put a nice sound system into yours. Maybe you can listen to beautiful music. Maybe you can watch a game on TV sitting in your RV I'm telling you something, there is nothing like the feeling of having an RV, a motorhome, it's a, maybe it's a fifth wheel, whatever it might be, a trailer, camper, it doesn't really matter. Because I know if you're like me, once I sit in mine, I feel the bad stuff just going away, like evaporating, dissipating. It's a great feeling, and I want you to always remember this when you're not feeling just perfect. And are we ever feeling just perfect? I don't know. As I said earlier, we're, we're human, and we have emotions and things and crazy people sometimes in our lives. But again, I don't want you to sulk in your RV. I never want to see you do that. I want to see you appreciate the fact that you have it. And again, even if it means going out and sitting in it for 20 minutes, it will be a magical feeling. I promise you that. I've got a lot to talk to you about on future episodes. And I'm going to make this one really, really short. But it might be one of the most important videos I've ever made. And no, I'm not telling you how to install a solar system or how to clean out the black tank or... Uh, do something, modification. I'm not telling you that. This, I submit, is so much more important than the picture of how to repair something in your RV. This is the bigger picture. This is life. But we are at an advantage, and I tell you, we are at a tremendous advantage having an RV, feeling great about it. So get out there and enjoy yours any way you can, and I'll be back with you really, really soon. By the way, if you do like this stuff, I've got a little newsletter I publish. It's not really an RV newsletter, but it's more or less a lifestyle, life-type newsletter where I give you just tips, things that I've learned all of my life. 
all of my long life so far. It's real easy to get to. It's free. I never spam you or anything like that. Just go to join.davidmaddo.com. There'll be a little form to fill out. I think all I require is your email address and your first name. That's it. And then you're on the list. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. But I think if this, vis- vi- if this video resonates with you, I think my email, it's called Dave Discovers. I think that will really resonate with you as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you take this seriously because it really is. I'm Dr. Dave, the RV Dummy. I'll be back with you later with a lot more really good, hard-hitting RV slash lifestyle stuff. Okay? Talk to you later.